Hi, I'm Anna AAK and today I'm here with Professional Motor Mechanics Magazine to carry out a review of the Sykes Pickerford Spring Compressor. What we've got is we've got the hardest springs to do in the industry today and we're going to give them a try out. So let's get downstairs and see how it fares. Here is the Sykes Pickerford Spring Compressor. So what I thought I'd do is before we start actually using it, I'll give you a quick overview of the product. So what is it? It's a spring compressor for doing your top mounts. It can compress springs at 2,452 kilograms of pressure. It's got the shock holder on the bottom there so we can actually change either shocks, top mounts or springs. One of the main features I have noticed is the height of the unit itself. It's quite a high unit. I know that I'm going to be working at a nice easy height to get to. I'm not going to be bent over. I'm not going to be working on my knees to try and do that. This safety cage as well, you can't not see that. It's good the ability to actually work here. We've got enough space to get our hands through to the springs, but also still feel quite safe with the actual size of the cage itself. It's got a great footprint for the size of the garage, so it's gonna slot neatly somewhere in the workshop so I can actually bring the shocks and the top mounts and anything that we need to change to the unit itself. Everything that we've got here now is the full kit. So when you buy the kit, we've got everything that comes with it. So we've got the strut shock holder. So that holds the actual shock in place when we're trying to do the top mounts. We've got the small spring yoke and the large spring yoke as well. And they slot quite nicely. So, you know, they're not gonna get lost. And the bit that I'm really looking forward in using is the GO338 top mount holder. So that's the actual top mounts. Push that down. You can bolt the top mount to that, push the shock down, and it saves us having to use these adjustable arms. So instead of using the top mounts, the most conventional thing that we have on here, like most normal spring compressors, these ones are slightly different. These are self-locating, so we can actually adjust them to the spring that we're gonna use, whether it's big or small, set them up, close this cage, and then we know that we can still gonna be able to work on it while these sit exactly where they need to be. So now we've had an overview of the actual unit itself, let's have a look at the spring shocks and top mounts that we're gonna to use to put it through its paces. What we thought we'd do is instead of giving it an easy ride and using something that we've already got in the workshop or something's coming in for a spring, I've organized the two worst shock spring top mount combinations that we can find, which is the C-Class. I'm sure every one of you guys know about this, is synonymous, it is the problem child of spring compressors. So we're gonna give it a real good run on this one. And the new problem child, which is the Nissan Qashqai with the sided springs. So depending on what side of the car you've got it coming on, the spring goes the opposite way. So if you haven't seen that one yet, you're gonna come across it soon. So let's see how this spring compressor holds up. The first one we're gonna try is that problem child, the C-Class Merc. So as you can see, how big that spring is and how tight that you have to get it in into the machine and to compress it down that tight you'll see once we take the top mount off how big that spring's got to be so that 2400 kilograms of pressure is really going to have to be put to work on this machine so we've gone for this really handy shock grabber here so i'm going to mount that up there slide that in one hand and i'm working with it there and what i'm aiming to do is get the shock, always when I'm doing springs, if I can get the shock in line with the ram, I know that the arms are gonna go down straight and I'm just gonna be able to do that top nut. Okay, so now I've got the, the top mount plate lined up. I've fixed the pins. I've got the shock where it needs to be. I'm gonna close the cage, put my safety glasses on. And we're gonna lower the spring compressor down now so it's gonna push evenly now across the whole top mount. Once it's got the pressure evenly on it, not too much pressure, I'm going to lock the arms off so they stay in the same place now. So that's going to push it down nice and evenly. Push it down. It's self-located itself and literally no effort at all. You can see that it's already compressing the spring. The top mount's gone loose so I can get my gun in there. Nice and easy access for a gun so I'm not going to be sitting there with a ratchet. So that's coming out nice and even all the way up. And you can see how much that spring is compressed by how big it is. And then we've got it, as easy as that. Less than five minutes, probably the hardest spring to do in any other machine I've ever worked on. This has made it look easy. Taking it apart was easy enough, so now we've got to put it back together. Everything's in line there. Everything's lined with the top mount. And I'm going to apply that even pressure straight down on the top mount. And then it should self-locate itself into the shock hole. I'm going to keep compressing it down, just like that. 
whole top of the shaft of the shock is through. Put the nut on by hand, tighten it up. Take the pressure off. And you can see now how much we've actually had to compress that spring with the shock staying there. And how hard that is had to work to get that spring down. But it's complete in less than five minutes. And again, one person doing it rather than have two people there with bars. Take the cage off. Undo the shock strap. So that's all solid now. Get that out. And there it is, the complete shock. Top mount, shock, spring, C-Class, done. So now we've done the C-Class, we're gonna move on to the next one, the Nissan Qashqai, the new problem child. If you haven't done one of these yet, you're gonna find one very soon. The issue we have with these is the coil spring coils a different way on the front. So your normal standard coil spring compressors, they will loop in and when you go to compress it, it will kick the spring out the other way, making it harder or even near on impossible to change the spring safely. What we're going to do with the Sykes Pickavent is we're going to use the new top mount standings. We're going to bolt the top mount to the plate and we're going to compress the spring down evenly, keeping it safe, straight down under the bolt and it'll pop straight off. Blow it down just enough so it starts to put some pressure on. Get our top mount bolts from before. We'll nip those up, get them tight, push it down now. And it's keeping the center of that shock straight. It's not allowing the spring to kick it out either way. The arms are holding it nice and tight. Get our gun, get it in there on the top of the nut. So we take it all the way up now, relieve all that pressure, straight evenly all the way up. Now we can open the cage, allowing us to unbolt the top mount now if we want to change the top mount. Take the spring out by dropping the shock out, or we can drop the shock out completely, which I'll do now. Like the C-Class, the, uh, taking it apart is a lot easier than putting it back together. So let's get this one back together and see how easy it can be. Strap the shock up, centralise it to be with the ram again. Because we've got this pivot here now, we can drop the spring straight in. No effort whatsoever. So now we've got the shock straight, we've got the spring in position, we've got the top mount is already bolted to the to the top mount plate and we can just lower the spring down and because this is on a pivot what we can do is as we drop the shock down we can just locate it and once we've got it started you can take your hands away and you can see it's pushed it straight down you can put the gun straight in still in this cage gun it up and you know everything's straight because you've located it already on the top mount plate take the spring up and i think that was even easier than the c-class because that's going to come straight up now and you've got the complete Nissan Qashqai shock all in place, all located safely and what, in less than five minutes, but with one person. If you've done one of these, you know how hard they are. And if you haven't done one of these, then hopefully you get one of these before you, uh, before you have to struggle. So we've had, a, we've had a good go with this today. I feel we've put it through its paces. We haven't given it an easy ride. We've given it two of the, probably the worst jobs I can think of, the C-Class and that Qashqai. And to be fair, I think it's held up really well. Also, it's not just done it quickly and efficiently, it's done it safely as well. At no point today have I thought, oh, do I need to put a bar in there or felt unsure about standing there or got someone else to help me. I've managed to do both the most problematic jobs that we know of by myself quite quickly and safely so the cage is strong it's a nice height to be working with i haven't been bending over all day i haven't been working on my knees again the safety aspect if something was to go wrong i'm standing here the cage is all the way up to my face and to my waist this is a great addition i know it's on some other spring compressors but this the shock is secure now that's not going anywhere it's very quick release but also tight when you're using it it's future proof i spoke to the guys at sykes today and they actually said that even though it can do everything now, if any other car brands were to bring anything out in the future, they're confident that if this doesn't work, they'll be able to pay, replace that plate and make something that will work on that. So you're not having to replace the whole spring compressor just to do one spring, it's future-proof. The size of it, it's about the same size as an oil barrel, to be fair, it's not taking too much room on the unit up. It's nice when we're not using it, it's, it's out of the way, but then when we do need to use it, we can bring the shots to there. It looks really nice, it's sturdy, and it's safe. It's doing all the jobs I've been able to do them by myself with quite relative ease, but also safely as well. So I'm quite happy, yeah, hopefully I'll get to keep it here for a long time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the Professional Motor Mechanics YouTube channel. And if you want more information on the Sykes Pickup,
spring compressor, hit the link below and I'll see you soon with some more videos.